If you guys are looking for some piss cheap coins, head on over to golden.com and use DRG for a discount. Or if you're looking to buy some cheap MSP or PSN codes, head on over to G2A.com. What's going on lads and welcome to the best players on FIFA 16. Now, I have to stress, these are my opinions. The stats are not confirmed. These are just my thoughts and um, how I would like my top five players to be rated on the game. So if we start from fifth, and go up to the first, so we'll start with the fifth best, up to the first, and we all, I think we all know who the top two are gonna be, but I think there's always gonna be a difference of opinion who should be number one and number two. So we'll get to that shortly, but first off, if we take a look at the screen, we will go on to Neymar. I would love to see Neymar go from an 86 to an 89. I think we're finally starting to see the best of Neymar. There was always the debate whether Neymar was just being overhyped, but I think he's finally starting to show what kind of player he's going to be. And he looks absolutely insane. There's talk of Man United offering over 200 million for him, which it's not going to happen. For the simple reason, if that was to ever happen, I think that could only happen if Pedro was still at Barcelona. Because it's pretty much Pedro or Neymar that were playing out on the left. And Pedro's gone. Why on earth would they get rid of their best left winger? Especially when they've got, you know, no backup that isn't in anywhere near the quality of Neymar. So if he moved from an 86 to an 89, it would be absolutely insane. He's gonna be an absolute cracking player on FIFA 16, no matter what his rating is. He's definitely gonna go up in rating, probably not as much as I'm hoping, but that's my opinion on it. Do you agree or disagree? Let me know down in the comments below. And let's move on to number four. So number four is the one I'm really, really excited about. Sergio Aguero is possibly the best striker in the Premier League. And he deserves to be so much more than an 86. When you see Falcao's rating, and then you take a look at Aguero, it's absolutely laughable. So if we could see his stats move up slightly, his pace up to 90, his shooting up to 91, his, his passing is so much better than people give him credit for as well. Dribbling would move up slightly, and honestly, if we could get Aguero up to an 88 or an 89, it would be absolutely awesome, especially for people like me that, you know, I always build like the BPL squads and it's not going to get much better than an 89 rated Sergio Aguero. Right, moving on to number three. Again, it's got to be Luis Suarez, one of the best strikers in the world. And from an 89, possibly up to a 92. He's got to hit the 90s this year. The season he had last season, he started, when he moved to Barcelona, it started off a little bit slow and people were thinking, oh, has he made a mistake? I never had any doubt. The man will go anywhere in the world and smash in goals. And it's not only that, the amount of assists he gets as well is massive for Barcelona. That Barcelona team will run away with the league this year. I can guarantee it with the likes of Neymar, Messi, Suarez. The front three is the best I've seen play together ever. It's absolutely unbelievable. So Suarez has to get in to the 90s of his rating in FIFA 16. I'd be highly surprised if he doesn't. Let's move on to number two. So let the big debate begin. I'm going for Ronaldo. It, uh, to me, Messi is so involved in FIFA with the covers and stuff, he's always going to be rated higher than uh, a Ronaldo. And I would love to see Ronaldo go from a 92 to a 94. Possibly we're talking too high a rating, but I think Messi's going to be higher. So if, if Ronaldo does get a 93 or 94, Messi's going to be absolutely insane. And to be honest, between the two of them, the ratings really don't matter because Ronaldo's stats are absolutely ridiculous. He deserves to be up there. The debate is always who's better, Messi or Ronaldo. To me, it's Messi. I'm always going to say Messi. I just think the man is unbelievable. And nothing would change my mind on that. But of course... Ronaldo is, again, one of the best in the world. So the debate makes sense, but there's no point in arguing because the two of them are absolutely insane. If we get a 94 rated Ronaldo on FIFA 16, wow. Prices, we don't know. We don't know what way these price ranges are gonna work. Seemingly, we're all gonna be able to afford a Ronaldo and a Messi. I call bullshit, I feel extinct players all over again. But let's not get into that now, let's move on to number one. And here he is in all his glory. I have gone for a 95 rated Lionel Messi. Oh my God, could you imagine the filth with a 95 rated player card? It's, it's not gonna happen again. I keep saying, this is what I would love to see. If he, if he went from a 93 to a 95, see he's got to go up from a 93, surely. 
So a 95 probably isn't that far off the mark if you really think about it. Probably a 94, but my God. Could you imagine a front line of Messi, Ronaldo and Neymar? Or even you've got Messi, Ronaldo, Suarez. It's disgusting and frightening to think about the team you could build on FIFA 16. If we can all afford them like they're saying, you're going to see a lot of good teams. So that is my top five. Do you agree? Do you disagree as always? Let me know down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please do smash that like button. It really does mean a lot. If you're not subscribed, please do so. And I shall talk to you all soon. Cheerio.